You know, there's nothing worse is in regards to films anyways than a really, really good actor, like amazing actor, being in a piece of garbage film. You know what I mean? Like where you're what where you just wonder, what the hell were they thinking? You know what I mean? Like they're really good actors and you see them in these pieces of garbage, you're like, what really? Like, huh? You know, like where you just why? Uh well let's get let's get into this piece of crap. Let's talk about Street Fighter. Can we talk about Street Fighter? Let's talk about Street Fighter. So Street Fighter is a 1994 uh, martial arts action film, like yeah, whatever film. It's a it's a movie. We'll call it that. It's definitely that. Based on the franchise Street Fighter, uh, it stars Jean Claude Van Damme as Colonel William Guile. Uh, how people felt that made sense, I'll never know. Give me a minute. Let me think about that. Yeah, no, I I can't figure that out, but I, it made sense to them, I guess. So, there's that. But it also stars an incredibly talented and amazing actor who I loved back in the day, and I still do, and I admired and looked up to him tremendously. He passed away way too soon before you could really see what he could offer. Of course, I'm talking about the late and great Raul Julia as M. Bison. Raul Julia, Jesus, man, what, what an amazing actor, my God, like, man, he, uh, the guy did so many, uh, what, what would you call them, plays, I guess, yeah, that'd be the best way, he did a lot of plays and, and a lot of amazing things on Broadway, you know, of course, he did Adam's Family and Adam's Family Values, you know, he was in this garbage of a film, you know, he's he did a lot of good things, you know, and Raul Julia was, he was such a passionate, just a, a amazing actor, you know, and it just sads me that, that there's so many people who don't know who he is, you know, even Hispanic people don't know who he is, you know, and that's a shame. You really should look into him. The guy was phenomenal. I mean, in my opinion, he's single-handedly the only thing that keeps this movie going, honestly, because really everything else sucks. I mean, they got Kylie Minogue as Cammy. Huh? So anyway, Street Fighter is based on the video game franchise of the same name, Street Fighter, uh, released by um, Capcom. And Street Fighter is such an amazing uh, game. Um, well, we'll say Street Fighter 2 and on, because Street Fighter was... Gee, ugh, maybe I'll review that one one day, but... Ugh. Yeah, Street Fighter 2 is such a great game, and it was just flawless it had so many good characters and music and it revolutionized the arcade game uh, as uh, arcade scene as well as the fighting game genre in general so it made no sense that they would make i mean it made every sense i'm sorry it made perfect sense whatever you know what i mean that they would make a movie out of this but it made no sense that they put jean claude van damme as guile sorry i just have to throw it out there you know but raul julia man such a good actor dude he he has so many good lines <laughs> in it you know what i mean I mean, those of you who have seen the film, sorry, spoilers for those of you who haven't. But yeah, the scene where he's just like, you say it was the greatest day in, in of your life when Bison graced your village. For me, it was Tuesday. Oh my God. That's an asshole line if I've ever seen it. You know what I mean? Like, he's a dick in this movie and I fucking love it. Excuse my language. Or don't excuse it. It's amazing. It's a great fucking scene. You know, where he's all like... I thought you said Guile was dead. He's like, he is. He is. Really? Then what is that? And then, like, they look at the screen and you can see, like, Guile. And Sagat's just like, but he died or something. Or I watched him die or some shit. He says something. He's like, oh, you didn't see that, did you? It's like, damn. Dickhead thing to say. I love it. Rewind. It's like all the scenes with Raul Julia are so good. You know? The girl who played Chun Li was cute. She was pretty cute. Why they made her dress red instead of the blue, I don't know. Is that blue? I'm colorblind, I don't know. But she was kind of hot. I like that. Why the fuck was Balrog on her side? Balrog's a bad guy. He works for Bison. But whatever. And DJ does... <sighs> Alright, so let's get into this. Street Fighter. What the hell do I give Street Fighter? <sighs> what do I give Street Fighter? Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, I give it a, I give it a two out of five. 
maybe a two and a half. No, I give it a two out of five. It's not very good at all, <laughs> at all, actually. In reality, the only thing that really redeems it is Raul Julia. And both those uh, numbers, the, the two, is both for Raul Julia. And if it was five stars and I only give it two, it's because of Raul Julia. He really carries the film. His parts are great. He knew this was not going to be a serious film. He knew it. He knew it. And he completely plays it like a cheesy 1960s Batman villain. And I fucking love every second of it. He is hilarious. Game over! I fuck it. He's funny as hell in this movie. He's so over the top. And I love that because... Again, he for he knew this film wasn't going to do well, and he actually did this film for his his uh, sons because they loved the game. And you know, he was dying; he had cancer, and the cancer was killing him. And he wanted to leave a gift, something behind for his children to watch. And what a what a fucking awesome! As a father myself, that's fucking awesome. Hell yeah, dude! He wanted to leave something behind for his children, and so he left. This, he did this film for his sons, Street Fighter. You know, he didn't even really know anything about the character or anything, but he learned it from his sons, and he wanted to leave something behind for them. And <clears throat> excuse me, and that's a really sweet thing to do. You know, um, he loved his children that much that he did it for them, and you gotta respect that. You gotta, co I commend him for that. You know, it was his parting gift, and I'll always respect that, no matter what. So, Street Fighter, have you seen it? If you have. Put your comments below, you know, let me know what you think about it. I'm actually curious. And if you haven't seen it, I wouldn't say go out of your way, you know, don't rush to go see it, but yeah, check it out. Why not? You know, Raul Julia and Bison, definitely the highlight of the entire fucking thing. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think if, if you've seen it. So I want to thank you guys again for tuning into this review. Um, as always, show this film, or this film, geez, show this review to a friend, tell a friend to tell a friend. And if you need a friend, I'm right here. You can come over, we can watch Street Fighter together. We can cheer all the M. Bison scenes, even though he's a bad guy, and boo the Guile scenes, even though he's a good guy. And another thing that doesn't make sense to me is there were no, there were no Sonic Booms. There was no freaking uh, Hadoukens or any of that. Come on, man. You can't just do the Hadouken thing and make the screen flash white. No, damn it. Come on. Jeez. Anyway. So I want to thank you guys again, okay? I'll see you guys next time. Take care.